Hello and welcome to the eighth tutorial in this series. In the previous tutorial, we created a service and in this tutorial, we are going to create a client which will be using that service. So creating the client will be pretty easy. The only thing that we need to do is that we need to create a new node. So we just right click source and new file and we'll call this, um, we can call it addition underscore client underscore node. So the service we created the last time was addition service and therefore we call this addition client node dot cpp. So the first thing that we need to do is that we just need to copy all of the code that from our service node that we created in the previous tutorial. So we'll be using it and modify it. So what we'll do in here is just that we will remove first of all the callback function that we created in the previous tutorial. So we remove that. Then we also want to remove the advertised service that we used. So it, you, you will have something that looks like this. And we also want to, of course, change the name of it. So we will can we can call this addition underscore service underscore client underscore node or something similar. So what we want to do is that we actually also want to remove this ROS spin function here because we're not going to need it. We only want to run this main function once and then we can quit the node just to try out our service. So what you are going to do now is that you will be creating a new object, which is called the service client. So we create it like this and we can just call the client. And we create this by calling a function from our node handle as usual. So we type nh dot service client. And then we need to create two of these arrows. And inside here, what we need to say is what kind of service uh, we are going to use. So our one is called add to ints. So we will just write the package name like this tutorial two add two ints like this and then we want to add two parentheses and inside here we only want to give it one argument which is the name of our service that we want to use and to get this correct we can go to our other service here and we'll just copy the name of this service which is add two ints so we copy this one and we paste it in here like this and that's the only argument that you need to give this function so what we're going to create next is a new object of our service. So to do this, what we do is that we just say tutorial to add to ints, SRV, can we call it? So this is the service. So what we'll do with this object is that we will add our two numbers that we want to add together. So we will say SRV.request. If you remember from the previous tutorial, we created this service description and in here we have our request here and the response here. So what we want to do here is that we want to set our A and B in our object. So srv.request.a equals, we can say two, and srv.request.b equals four. And what we want to do then is that we want to actually call the service. And if you remember from the previous tutorial, what we did was that we actually returned a Boolean true. So what we are going to do is that we're going to type it like this. If client.call, and then what we want to send in as an argument is our serve SRV object like this. And if this returns true, we're just going to print out in the terminal something like the sum of your two integers is, and then we set a colon and something. So a percent LD like this, and then comma. And what we want to add here is just the SRV dot response dot sum. So get okay, res bones like this. We also want to add the uh, else statement. So we say something like else. And then we also want to print something. So I will just copy this one and add it here. And then we can remove this one and this. And then we want to say that failed to call the service. And 
then if it doesn't succeed, we can return something like one. So, and that's actually all we need to add in our addition cli client node. So what we do is that we say that, okay, we create a service client called client and we say which service it will use. And then when we want to use it, we, say, we call this function client.call and send in our service object, which is add to ints, which we call SRV. And in that object, we have set the input parameters, which is A and B inside a request. And if we can call it successfully, we will print it out and say that the sum of our two integers is, yeah, well, the sum. So let's try it out. So the first, last thing that we need to actually do is just to edit our CMake list now. So we go into it. And in here, we want to add a executable and we want to add the dependencies also and new target links. So we're just going to copy this one. And we also want a new copy of this one. And of course we want to change it. So we'll use this addition client name here, rename, copy the value. And then we will use it here instead. So like this. So that seems to be correct. And let's, okay, so I add a node node here, I see. So I will remove that. Just check so I didn't add it other one another place. No, doesn't seem like that. So what we can do now is that we can just go ahead and try to build our new file. So we go to our workspace and we run catkin underscore make build it and as we can see it built successfully so we open two new terminals and in one of them I start the ROS core and in another I will go to the workspace folder I will source the devil setup bash file and then what I want to do is that I want to run our addition service. So I will type ROS run tutorial two and addition service like this service node. So I will start it. So now it's started. So what I want to do in this one before I start, I just want to source the devil setup dot bash. And now I can run our new addition client node. So to do that, I just type ROS run tutorial to and addition client node like this. And if I press enter now, hopefully it will return six, two plus four. So hit enter. And it says the sum of your two integers is six, which is correct. So, and then it ended the node, which we set it to do. So it only ran once because we executed this line of code and then we returned zero and then it stopped the node. So it runs perfectly actually. So that's everything for this tutorial. I hope you like it. And if you like it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you want more of this content. In the next tutorial, I will be talking about some tips and tricks in ROS and I will also sum up this series. So see you then.